All right, we're back. I have a migraine, but I'll make it work. Uh, let's see. So, I'm missing a lot of skills here. Long way to go. A lot of things to do. Apparently, we're supposed to go kind of vaguely down this direction to get somewhere, but... I, hmm. I was looking up a guide on how to farm a lot of shadow cores really fast, and the answer is... Uh... It's do the first level over and over again, but you have to have certain battle traits on. And I don't have that. I don't know where to get that. So I guess we're just going to keep exploring until we find what I need, and then we'll go from there. I was trying to look into cheat engine and stuff, but it looks like with the recent patches, all cheat engine related things are outdated. So I looked into modding this game, which actually is quite doable, but also outdated. Uh, oof. That looks like a pain in the ass, so let's check walls. This will be easy. So it looks like they come this route, and then are probably just going to beeline this way. Oh, but for me to put a tower down, period, it would have to bonk. Okay. Thank you, Nick Tesla, for the 50 bits. Normally I give my friends with headaches plenty of water and maybe some warm cookies. But money will have to do. <laughs> Thank you. Uh capitalism ho. Uh I mean, it works. If it works, it works. Uh, let's see. And thank you, Koveth, for the 21-month resub. Almost two years already. Hope you feel better soon. I will. Uh, main issue is we just went out today. Uh, we went shopping, very specifically. And... I am extremely vulnerable to smell, which is not something I really thought I would ever be particularly vulnerable to, uh, as... Let's see. I never thought I'd be particularly vulnerable to smell because I can't smell much, but what this means is I... Uh... gonna do that in the vain hope that it passes by this tower and then I'm gonna just do this so they have to take a really long way around there's a couple of different spots I could put towers I don't know which ones are gonna be the best <coughs> hmm I guess, honestly, this spot would be insanely good here. Uh, let's see, do I have some Excedrin or something? I, I took Motrin. Uh, maybe I'll I'll take more. We'll see. The problem is, like, no amount of painkillers usually cut down on my migraines, which is rough. Uh, because the pain is very secondary. I feel drunk. Thoughts come slow, and I, I don't move fast. And so, no matter what it is, I'm just kind of sitting there being like, uh, uh, regardless of like what is going on. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna dump both of those. We want a slowing trap. Oh, this tower is virtually invisible to me. Who boy? Let's see, do I want to do a bleeding slowing gem combo? That might honestly be worth it. So they take more damage. Okay, but yeah, what kind of smell? It doesn't actually matter what kind of smell. It's more the issue of I can't smell anything that easily. And so when I can smell something, it's absolutely miserable to me. Because most of the time it's not a good sense. Heavy chemicals, perfumes, body odor, you name it. Uh, that sort of stuff just, like, absolutely wrecks my business. And unfortunately... Uh, let's see, do we want to get a pylon up in here? I'm just going to have a pylon just kind of charging as a bonus thing. And remember, you cannot smell until the smell gets stuck in your nose. Pretty much, yeah. So, 
Uh, if I'm around somebody that particularly stinks, it'll get stuck in my nose. If I go to a grocery store and I'm in a chemical aisle or a, uh, a, um, an aisle dealing with, like, cleaners, for example, that sort of thing hits me particularly hard. Um, and it, it, if I'm around them for a long period of time, it's pretty bad. And so today was a particularly heinous double whammy of Michael's and uh, Michael's target and specifically just this specific target was just bad. It just had so many smells and so much just just so much. And it was just, I, I I don't know, knocked me out on my ass. So we're right here, uh, me being just kind of ineffective. It'll be okay. Like, baseline, I'll be, I'll be fine tomorrow, probably. I, the other thing that really sets me off is heavy pressure changes, and I think we're going to be going from a uh, particularly rainy day to a particularly... Uh, There we go. Uh, we're going to be going from a particularly rainy day to a particularly... Uh, or no, it, it's been really sunny and nice recently, and so it's going to be really rainy tomorrow. I, I can think. Um, and that sort of thing sets me off really bad sometimes as well. And so... Yeah, I don't know. My head, my head just feels tired, and I feel bleh as a result. I'll be better in a day. But for now, it's a good excuse for me to just play nothing but uh, tower defense games and just sit back. Maybe Shell and I will play The Witcher. I don't really know. Man, these guys are slow. This is a really easy level, though. Like, I looked at it at first and I got kind of worried with the layout, and then it's just like, oh wait, no, no, never mind. This is like, actually one of the easiest levels I've ever done. I like tower defense games. I do too, there's kind of a depressing lack of them. Like, I, at some point, I think I'm going to Shanghai Shell into playing Orcs Must Die With Me or something, because I think that would actually be really fun. Because I haven't played Orcs Must Die in a while, and I found Unchained to be genuinely kind of disappointing. And so, yeah, I wouldn't mind going back to Orcs Must Die too at some point. Secondary piling, give the ladder tower or something? Yeah, I probably should have. There just wasn't as, like, the space for it wasn't very good, so I was just kind of like, eh, we'll see. Orcs Must Die is quite fun. You should play it with your friends again at some point. It's it's super good. I, I will say Unchained is is dead. They took that down. Which is a travesty. I absolutely despise that about game design nowadays. That so many companies uh, make their games online only. Wait. What? Oh. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, so many companies make their games online only. And it absolutely blows from, like, my perspective. Because, like, yeah, I'm not particularly interested in playing a whole bunch of... Orcs Must Die Unchained, you know, every day forever. But I'll load it up for a little while. And there's something just absolutely bleak about, hey, here's this cool game that we made. 
oh, uh, no one wants to play it anymore. Guess we're taking the servers down. Nobody can play it anymore. And it's just like, what? No, just, just make it, make it like Borderlands. Make it like whatever. Make it so people can, um, I want mana leeching gems. Are they even worth it? I have a hard time. I don't think they are. Okay, do we have any spots where I could sneak one tower? Yeah, letting people host is such a nice feature. And like I would I would pay 30 bucks for 30 40 bucks for Orcs Must Die Unchained if they were to just release a uh a kind of standalone local multi well, not local multiplayer version, but kind of a standalone version that you can just play with your friends. Uh, you know, Borderlands style or whatever. Okay. But the fact that they, you know, have such a focus on online only that, yeah, there's just no chance. Well, this is awkward. I mean, I'm doing fine. Just was not expecting massive amounts of... Crappy little swarmers. Uh... Probably be okay. I can't really slow them down, can I? I probably should have moved that up. mean blocking. There we go. Force them to run the poison out. Uh, let's see. Should probably do the same thing over here. not great. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Which side needs it more? This side's relatively well equipped. This side, not so much, though. Oh, yeah, because I never even upgraded this one. Do we do... Do we do another one? Yeah. Just plonk that there. That should... That should knock some of these down. Yeah, they're working on a new Orcs Must Die, so at least the franchise isn't dead over it. Which is good. Hopefully they kind of learned their lesson a little bit. Because I think there's always going to be a market for cooperative third-person shooter, shooter tower defense style games. Like, I... I don't think people ever bore of that. I think the biggest issue is just truly always going to be uh, marketability and profitability. Like, you can only put out so many of those in... You can only put out so many of those in a given, like, month or year. Uh, let's see. Wow, these little suckers are fast. I just got to guarantee that they're taking long enough and that we don't have to worry about it. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, do we have to worry about the big guys? No, it looks like the big guys are getting poisoned just like everything else. Definitely letting some through, though. More through than I'm comfortable with. I guess we could spec further into poison now that I'm thinking about it. I do have that capacity. Like I, I definitely did not spec for this level. So if we get if we get our butts kicked by it, I can make it work. I'm just gonna save my mana at this point. Looks like we're okay. I don't think anything makes it through a second time around. That's when that's when things get really dangerous. But yeah, I I was actually reading about Orcs Must Die 3, and apparently, um, they actually weren't planning on making an or Orcs Must Die 3 at all. That Unchained pretty much killed the studio. Uh, that they, they bet everything on making a MOBA that no one played. And so they're like, oh shoot, okay. We'll make a, uh, we'll just make it into a co-op, uh, you know, a free-to-play co-op, tower defense, blah, blah, blah. Problem is, like, nobody really wanted to play that. Oh, is this thing still spitting? It's still spitting dudes. That's okay. These guys are not going to survive the process. Um, oh, there's a project to get open... Oh, open source servers for LEGO Universe. Yeah, I heard about that. Owie, okay. That was expensive. Banishing mana cost. Oh, he's not actually nearly as durable as I thought. That's just where he spawned from, so that's it. Okay, uh, let's see. But yeah, so Orcs Must Die Unchained almost broke the studio, but apparently with Google Stadia, they they gave them a fair bit of money uh, to guarantee that Orcs Must Die 3 would come out on Stadia, which is insane because Stadia, but okay, sure. As long as it saves saves that studio so they keep making games. I can't complain too much. Let's see, I could see Lego giving them the the code. Maybe. I doubt it. A lot of a lot of companies do not like to share that much. It's starting to get warm out, and our neighbors are starting to be out more often with their dogs, and so we've just been hearing dogs fighting all day. And a lot of them are little designer dogs. Oh, I miss the halcyon days of everybody just having labs and retrievers. They're not necessarily the best dogs always, but they're... They're so pleasant. Okay. Wow. Welcome to Monster Nestville. They were just trained dogs better. Yeah. Also very true. But no one does that. <laughs> so how do we want to do this? We could turn this into some kind of absolute super maze. Or we could blow a lot of money on making some kind of dumb wall here. So this setup has to go through rigmarole.
actually get a tower there. And a tower here. I did not allow myself a whole lot of money. But these walls are going to pay for themselves, I hope. We'll see how this goes. I think we're going to do okay. Should probably focus on upgrading this one a little bit. Should also probably get a pylon somewhere. There we go. That's something for both of them to do. More or less guarantees that they're going to be fine. You don't really get what Stadia is. Stadia was an interesting idea of providing uh, gaming services to people that can't afford higher-end rigs by more or less having servers that could play the games remotely and having people connect just via the internet. It's actually a really good idea. The problem is nobody has internet good enough for that. And, uh, the product is not actually very good. Okay, that should give it considerably more range. Yeah, it should work out. Let's see, can the boost tower work on trap pit pits? Yes, you can, you can amplify, uh, you can amplify trap pits. The problem is... Uh, it really only increases their attack speed. It doesn't actually really... Yeah, it kind of can increase the uh, the poison effect. Or some other things. A Google HQ has internet good enough for it, but consumers don't. Which is a specific problem. And will pretty much always be the specific problem. I, I like the idea of it, but the actual execution is kind of bad. What it should have been was honestly... What they should have done was had it be much less monetized and much more just like, here's a neat idea, let's see if people are super interested in this or not. Because the problem with it was like, the inter most people don't have good enough internet, so no one really wanted to invest their money into it. Like, I have fantastic internet and I didn't even consider it because I was I'm pretty sure it wasn't going to work for me. Um, especially because streaming, like what Microsoft's doing, yeah. Microsoft knows how to do this. Google is ju just doing dumb things because... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I get why Google is doing things the way that Google is. Because that's how they've operated for years. Throw shit at the wall. See what sticks. When it doesn't stick, just bail on it. Just like... Google Wave or freaking anything. What is Microsoft doing? Xbox, well, they actually also have the exact same thing. I think it, it's like a bonus subscription on top of the Xbox Game Pass. You can uh, you can do the, the stream from like an Xbox or something like that. It's Project X Cloud. I don't know too much about it because, again, doesn't matter too much to me. Um... But I know Microsoft is effectively doing what Stadia is, but at just, like, a really cheap subscription cost with no other, like, bells and whistles, which is, uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. But personally, I just think their, their Game Pass is so much more... Microsoft's Game Pass is so much more interesting as, like, a basic end user. It's completely useless for me. I own more games than I will ever humanly be able to play, let alone beat. But, like, say if you're a high schooler, you've just, you've just graduated, or, you're no, say you're a high schooler, you just got an Xbox or a new computer, you don't own shit because you're poor as dirt. 
And here's 20 years worth of modern gaming that you straight up, you could afford, especially with Steam sales and whatnot, and Humble Bundles and a bunch of other things. Um, and yeah, alternatively, you could just pay like 10 bucks a month to Microsoft and get access to maybe 50% of the overall uh, game market. Like, that's that's an obscenely good deal, no matter how you slice it. And, admittedly, I'm not, like, gonna be too much of an immediate proponent of it for my own content, for example, just because completely, completely meaningless to me. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? The shutting down Google Plus was just admitting it was dead. I remember when they foisted Google Plus upon all of us YouTubers. Everyone was so mad. For entirely justified reasons. It was freaking stupid. Like, I will admit, I'm a bit of a Google fanboy just because yeah, I kind of have to be. It's my job. But... Like, I won't, I won't deny when they've done dumb things. And Google Plus was honestly waste, wasted opportunities more than anything else. Uh, whoops. I think I needed that to be open. What the hell am I doing? Oh, god damn it. Let's just restart. This this is going to get expensive. Oh, let's see. So we want to force them to come up here. Then down here. Then back up, but we gotta get a tower up in honestly right here. Okay, same deal here. And I might want to put some poison traps down, but I'll probably be okay with this. And most of your friends were on Google Plus and lost a lot when it shut down. That's a travesty. That said, I would also say, oh, hey, thank you, Soviet Fox, for the 31-month resub. Ah, dang, that's a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Uh, let's see, what was I saying? Right, social media. I feel like social media is this kind of weird void where... We need a better social media platform than what we currently have. Discord is my... Discord and, like, Twitter are my two. And that feels very strange to me, because I, I feel like... Uh, let's see. I feel like some enterprising company could probably... make I want to do that if I put that right here that'll probably be fine some enterprising company could probably make a good Facebook or Google alternative the main issue I guess would be marketing and getting people to like move over I'm trying to I'm trying to actually think on this one a little bit cuz like I specifically have stopped using social media in like Facebook style years ago mainly just because like Facebook creeps me out Google Plus was non-functional as a social media platform and I don't really know of anything else that really comes close. See there's Mastodon. 
It'd be interesting to look into alternative uh, social media platforms and see if any of them are actually good. Because I do kind of miss that sense of closeness with people that I I had. Even though it was purely artificial, but like, I felt like I was still kind of keeping up with people that I knew. And I haven't really felt like I've had that sense, but it's also kind of one of those where it's like all of my current options are just creepy. Like, I just, I can't, I can't get into Facebook anymore. I never will, I never really want to put anything on that platform ever again. Except for to, like, occasionally be like, I wonder how this person's doing. But, like, that's exactly what gets me, but probably, I don't know. And, like, I know there's Discord, but Discord only really works for, like, people that use it. And there's lo a lot of people that I knew from high school or college that might use Discord, but I have no idea where or how I would find them. Okay, I'm just going to plonk this over here. Blast that. And there we go. Well, like, I, I think people actually would be super down for a good social media platform of some variety. The main issue is just that all of them are either low feature. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, God. Why was that there? How did that even happen? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have a poison gem sitting there for some reason. Their friends set up a Slack channel and most of them left Facebook. That might not honestly be a bad idea. I just... Uh, I lost all contact with pretty much every friend, uh, friend I had. Uh after I graduated from college. I think to some degree that's kind of okay. A lot of my friends were not the best. I'm sure you guys have heard, heard me tell stories about like various friends lost over the years and it's like, yeah, okay, kind of good riddance. E. Uh, let's see. There we go. That'll solve my problems. Kind of. Temporarily. I think we're going to be okay. I need to get one of these up to T7, but... It's hard. Okay, there we go. That should be better. I think the problem is I don't have any armor busters on this build. Guess I should have maybe gone for more of a poison build, but I didn't really need it. I don't know. I think I'll be okay. Guess I could have also gone for like a heavier slow trap, but eh. Oof. Tough bastards, but we got him. We got him. Alright, kill a monster having a lot of HP. Reach 20 monsters killed throughout all the battle. Oh, 20 non-monsters killed. Those things, 74 shadow cores. That's not bad. Let's see, I know some folk who are from out of country that I'm friends with through Discord. I mean, I, I've i made way, way more international friends now that I've actually been active on Discord and so on and so forth. I'm actually, I, I am really thankful that things like Discord exist. 
Uh, because otherwise, yeah, I straight up would not have met nearly as many people. But I think a lot of it also has to do with the fact that um, doing YouTube for a living has definitely improved my... the reach, I guess? Maybe reach isn't quite quite the right word. Okay, we gotta... I'm gonna sort these based on which ones are actually good. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, we might want to start combining some th some of these things. Um, but I was, I was thinking about this earlier today. Uh, one of the political things that kind of goes on is the the sense that people outside your community aren't really people. They they exist, yes, but you don't really care about them. And I think that's more of an issue for older generations because older and or more insular people. God. Uh, hence Facebook for example and for me like it's hard for me to think about my life without thinking about you know as, as strange as this sounds it's hard for me to think about like some things without thinking about other people in the world what they're up to how their cultures are in relation to mine and stuff like that like it's you can't just say like oh yeah the people over in China like I mean, coronavirus is terrifying, but some amount of me is just kind of, like, super, super appalled that these people have to deal with such a situation. I'm just like, good lord. Um, you know, that's... I wouldn't wish that on anyone, no matter what. Uh, do we get rid of these? Yeah, let's get rid of these. I know I've got good stuff in them, but we should really start going for these combo modifiers and whatnot. And, uh... I was, I guess, what was I doing? I don't know, I do a lot of things. Um, I was reading a post about a man who was effectively, he wasn't confronted with a, a trans person, but effectively had met a trans person for the first time. More or less had this kind of weird culture shock of like, oh yeah, you people exist. And I thought that was quite interesting and a bit tragic that, you know, it took actually meeting somebody in person to finally kind of break him out of um eh, let's get rid of that that one's pretty bad let's get rid of all of the mediocre ones that we don't need because yeah a lot of these are pretty trash I was gonna save them for the combo effects but if they've got shit stats they're not worth keeping around Oh, that cleans it up pretty quick. Does get me another slot, too. This one? This one. Which actually would let me use this if I wanted to. There we go. Uh, is it good? Maximum freeze charge, maximum bolt charge, tower beam, maximum barrage charge. So that's purely for my spells. Neat. I don't think I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to leave that there. Burlington Roche Rose is a target now. That's weird. Oh, that's that's almost tragic, but I kind of understand why. That place was always so expensive, like, we didn't even go in there. Okay, oof. Well, hmm. This will be an interesting one. And next time I go back to Boston, I should probably, you know, go around town and see what has changed. My biggest beef is the fact that I'm so allergic to my parents' house that it's hard for me to want to. Okay. Ugh. Actually, that's not so bad. I should be able to break that pretty quick. How much damage a just regular gem bomb does? Oh, immune to... Okay. That didn't work.
I'm mildly unsure what the best defense for this is. I guess we're going to waste a lot of mana here. Luckily, the barricades don't have much HP, and that's the only one that isn't currently next to something, so we should be okay. <sighs> yeah, let's upgrade this. Plunk that there, same deal. This one should be okay. There we go. Refresh that. Uh, let's see. So we still got a rock there, but that might not matter as much to me. Okay. So, have them go here, then have them go back. It's not the best. That's a bit wasteful, but that's okay. And yeah, there's no way I could have gotten this to zoop around there. Okay. At least the towers themselves are pretty cheap. Just need a smidge more... And I can get this sucker to hit the nearby towers. Okay, now it's hitting them. Uh, let's see. Just pluck it there. Uh, I'll put that one there. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I'll probably just... Well, yeah, actually, there we go. That's an easy way to dispose of it. Thank you, Sors Manus Beneplaciti. Wow, that name is a little tough for me right now. Thank you for the uh, two-month resub. Thank you so much. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you are all doing better than I am right now. I'm not actually doing that bad. I probably shouldn't be that doom and gloom. Uh, I actually... Now that I think about it, I'm actually feeling a bit better, but... Still, migraines, not fun. Let's see. There's... No good mazing here, is there? I mean, I guess I'll take that much. Not great, though. Let's see, do we get two more amplifiers? They'd be expensive. I don't even know if that would help that much. Bammo. Not actually sure if that's really that helpful. Well, that stunned the crap out of them, though. There's a benefit to that. Oh, you know what? Give them both pylons? That's something worthwhile. Because that's really good against, um... 
That's really good against giants, and we seem to have a fair bit of those. How much armor does he have? Yeah, they lose armor pretty quick. It's the little guys that are the issue. They tend to just kind of zip past me. I can't do too much about that. Eh, handling a little. Oh, right. Guess which Hingledop totally forgot to go after the wizard stashes. Because I did. It's okay. I think we're doing fine, actually. It'll be open in seconds. Right, and we get a skill tome. Hey! Has a meta revealed itself yet? Yes! Though I hesitate to, uh... I hesitate to talk about it because I'm sure there's a better meta than, um... I'm sure there's a better meta than what I do. My... My meta strategy is straight up just to, uh, two, two towers. It's just always two towers, plus maybe some amps, and definitely a pylon. See, there's something over here. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did miss the, uh, the mana shard there. Uh. But yeah, just two towers, uh, one or two pylons to go around, and then upgrade them as much as possible. Anything else ends up being too expensive, and so it's not as, uh, it's not as worthwhile. I've completely gone away from lanterns, I've completely gone away from, uh, I still use amplifiers, but I don't use them as extensively as I used to. Demolition skill tome. Got a fair bit of stuff. Ooh, boy, that didn't feel good. All right, whatever. I think I'll be okay. 